The gateway is not set up at the beginning of the project. After adding all the shades to the rooms and configuring all the remotes, we are now ready to add a gateway. If you have multiple gateways, you can flash them to identify. If you have one gateway in the home, place it in a central location to all the shades. But if you have more than one gateway, distribute them evenly throughout the home. We're going to move to the next step in the setup process and select Yes. Follow the guided process in the app to place your gateway. Centrally locate the gateway to your shades. Plug in the gateway and wait about 30 seconds for it to fully cycle on. During boot up, the gateway's LED will emit different colors. If you ever need to reference it, the LED chart can be found in the app. Since I'm only plugged into power, I'll wait for the LED to flash green and purple. I'm now ready to add it to the home. The app's now going to look for the gateway. Identify and select a gateway to set up first. If you have multiple gateways, again, you can flash to identify. The app's now going to ask for the Wi-Fi network in which the gateway should be joined. The great option here is if you are the installation professional and don't have access to the Wi-Fi network, or if the Wi-Fi is unavailable for any reason, you can continue the initial setup without the Wi-Fi. However, if you do know the Wi-Fi, simply follow the guided prompts to choose the Wi-Fi network name and password. Remember, if the gateway setup occurs without connecting to the Wi-Fi, then the homeowner will be prompted to add the gateway to their Wi-Fi network once they accept the ownership. Now I'm going to name the gateway. I want to be sure to name it where it will be located. And now the app will scan to ensure all rooms are in range and a connection is made with the gateway. The gateway will now finish the setup and connection to each shade. Once the LED on the gateway turns solid blue, the gateway is done with setup.